back to my channel. Um, every single person that does YouTube or that is like for making fun of people on YouTube say welcome back to my channel, but I really am welcoming you to my video and I'm happy you're here. So, um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Today's video um, is, as you can see by the title, something very, very huge. And to be honest, it's something that I never would have thought would be a video going off on my own YouTube channel. I've definitely come pretty far in life, I would say. <laughs> for this video, I'm going to walk you through my process of picking the dresses. When I was looking for wedding dresses, I definitely knew from the beginning I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. That is just my personal opinion. It was definitely a mission, I would say, trying to find dresses that were obviously cute and affordable my budget was to not spend more than a thousand dollars doing a lot a lot a lot a lot of research um i stumbled upon coco melody i'm gonna leave their website down if you guys are interested obviously i highly recommend checking them out i mean <laughs> i'm getting my wedding dress from them so i guess we can go into the day that i tried on my dresses i asked a couple of my friends if they wanted to come also my mom flew in from mexico to go see me try on dresses i had my aunt and my cousin also come over so on a Saturday, I was on my way to the boutique. So I got there and they set me up with a stylist. We set up this little cute area. Um, we got this little pedestal in front of a window which had the most amazing lighting. The stylist asked me to try on four to five pieces and I picked the ones that I liked. As I mentioned in my last video, I was mainly looking for dresses that were long sleeve with lace and that kind of poof up a little bit, but not too much. Um, I'm pretty conservative, so I was not trying to look for like a sexy style or like a low cut neck or cleavage which I don't have but and my plan for the wedding is to have that same dress throughout the entire thing like the ceremony the party the after party and all that so I wanted to make sure it was something comfortable that I could move in dance like lift my hands so I ended up trying on four dresses and um the first one that I tried on was very very cute I mean all of them were cute I don't even know how I'm gonna describe these but um, by the way every single dress that I'm gonna mention in this video I'll have links for you on the description box if you're interested in it and you are gonna get blown away when you see the prices they're all under a thousand dollars i cannot even believe it so yeah so the first one very very cute romantic and classic the stylist told me that one is one of the best sellers at coco melody and i definitely see why the quality is amazing it had a long sleeve had a deep v-neck but it was classic like it was not very like booby or cleavagey the skirt was just like so puffy and it made me feel like a real life princess like i tried on and i was like wow that looks beautiful. Had this nice little like tie thing on my waist that helped it like cinch and make me look smaller. That one was actually my mom's favorite and I love that one, it was so pretty, but I definitely had to move on and try the next one. The second dress was so unique and so special because it had the flowers and the lace that I was looking for, but I don't know how to explain it, but like the flowers were kind of like 3D, like three-dimensional they're like not just embroidered but like you're gonna see the photos <laughs> I could not even believe like the quality of that dress for the price something that I definitely wanted to do with my wedding dress regardless of the style that I pick is cut out the train because um I am a very um clumsy <laughs> like extremely clumsy and I just know having a train on my dress would be the death of me the train on this dress was beautiful it was so amazing because it also had the streety like flower features i mean that dress definitely met the criteria on um, sleeves lace and this one even had the little 3d thing which made it so special and then i'm with four with dress number three and the last one you'll be seeing because dress number four is actually the one that i picked so excited um so yeah dress number three this one i decided to try last minute actually because i saw it on coco melody's instagram page i'm gonna leave a photo right here for you that one is definitely not what i was looking for because i never thought i wanted mine to be sleeveless or like off the shoulder so i went and tried it on oh my gosh so pretty never in a million years i would have tried on a dress like that and i decided to be adventurous and try something that i wouldn't like necessarily go for not that it's not pretty at all i mean that dress is freaking gorgeous but it was not the style that i had in mind so glad i did i tried it on and i was like oh my gosh that looks beautiful that's a dress that i tried on and it made me think like wow i look like i'm about to walk down the aisle and get married it was so hard i almost picked that one it was not quite the one because for me that dress is beautiful and wonderful for a spring summer wedding my wedding is gonna be a fall slash winter i'm getting married november 15th so yeah pretty much towards winter and my wedding is like at night time so i feel like having a long sleeve and i am someone that gets cold <laughs> all the time i had to say no to that dress too 
tried on the fourth dress and the moment I tried it on, the girl that was my stylist was like, Anna, I'm having chills. I think this was the dress. And I was like, oh my God, I wanted to cry so bad. Obviously I didn't. Kind of in the back of my mind, I also knew that was gonna be the dress. That's why I waited last to try it on because I wanted to try all of them first. So try it on last and I wasn't wrong. That was the dress. We all loved it. It had so many amazing details. It met the criteria that I was looking for. It's long sleeve, it has lace. The thing that me and my friends and my mom and my aunt and everybody loved about that dress, it's that it's literally not like any dress you've seen before. I can describe it to you. <laughs> the back has this nice little like pearl buttons going down. I mean, it's a lace, so the back is like a transparent um, fabric. I don't even know what it is. So obviously it has a little lace going on here, fades into the skirt but at the bottom of the skirt it also has some of that same lace so I love that the lace didn't just like stop at the waist and then it's just plain it has that lace detail everywhere the sleeves are beautiful it has such beautiful like details on the little like lace sleeves it's so pretty those three dresses that I tried were definitely more than beautiful and perfect I would have been fine honestly with picking any of them and this is something that everybody agreed as like this dress has so many things that it makes it so you like this is Anna like it's your style it has the things that that you like so the question was asked are you saying yes to the dress yes yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> so i said yes to the dress I am so excited and also kind of relieved because picking out a wedding dress was a huge thing that I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna get it done, but some I have to, you know, I gotta wear a dress during my wedding. So thankfully the wedding is not like in a year from now and you won't see my dress until the year. It's only four months away. So yeah, happening pretty soon. The dress that I ended up picking was $699, which we were all like, what? Seriously, it looks like a $3,000 dress with the amount of quality. It's so beautiful. I can't wait for you to see it. I, it makes me excited. Like, that's how pretty I think it is. I guess this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one you like better. Like, I know you obviously didn't see the one that I ended up picking, but did you like one, two, or three better? Let me know in the comments below. I feel like I've definitely gone for three if it was a summer wedding, which is not. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Mwah.